Coming up next, the Hawks take it. Happy holidays, everyone, from all of us at 2K. K Sports, thanks for joining us at this most special time of the year. With Hall of Famer Grant Hill and Brent Berry, this is Brian Anderson. We'll be hearing from Ali LaForce from the sideline. And we've got a chance to check out multiple seasons of assist numbers and what has been the trend for DeJounte Murray. And his assist numbers have been dropping over the past few years. Not a good trend. Perhaps he's become a little too concerned about finding his own shot and not seeing the rest of the court. Here's the starting group for the San Antonio Spurs. We've got Devin Vassell. Victor Wimbanyama is out there with Keldon Johnson. And it's Sohan in at the point guard position. And for the Hawks, the talented duo of Young and Murray of the backcourt. DeAndre Hunter is out there with Johnson. And it's Capella in at the center position. Well, now that we're into the thick of things here this season, Grant, we start to get a clear picture of how these teams are going to look this season. Yeah, B.A., this is where it really all starts to come into focus. Off-season trades have either paid off or fizzled. And squads have had time to bond and really get stronger. And it's going to be the Spurs off the tip. Here's Sohan, guarded by Young. Pass to Wimanyama. Over Capella. Wimanyama, no good. And so it's Murray who brings up the ball for the Atlanta Hawks. Last game matched up with the Grizzlies. A tough loss there. <laughs> there obviously was a breakdown at the defensive end. They gave away too many clean looks. Yeah, sometimes you can play good on-ball defense, but it's the help defense that makes you elite. And on that night, nobody rotating and not a lot of help. Here's Atlanta with the ball. You know, they beat the Spurs during their last encounter in San Antonio. They barely got the win the last time these teams faced off. And in large part, I think it was because they were pushing the action and drawing foul calls. Well, it was because they got to play a lot of the second half against the second unit. The guys that ordinarily would have been out there were stuck on the bench with all those fouls. Granted, each of the last three seasons, Atlanta has been in the top ten in offensive rating. That's true, B.A., but Atlanta has also been in the bottom ten of defensive rating. If the Hawks want to take that next step, they have to commit to the defensive side of the ball. Now here's Johnson coming off a 16-point game against the Mavericks in Dallas. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Murray deciding where to go with it. After missing his first attempt, now one for two. And that's where Murray can take his jump shot comfortably in the mid-range. Here's Sohan, guarded by Young. Wimbanyama screen. Sohan, the pass to Vassell. Shot clock at five. Over Hunter. Vassell's shot is good. And Vassell can get that shot anytime he wants. For Atlanta, they've gone just two for four from the floor. Here's Murray, bearing his second of three attempts. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. Yeah, right now, I don't see any let up. I think he's going to just keep putting his foot on that gas pedal tonight. Here's Branham. No good with the triple. And Young has got the ball here for the Hawks. Pass to Murray. Johnson against Vassell. Johnson passes to Young. A step back shot. And he banks in the layup. Young's got his second basket of the night. <laughs> Their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Vassell outside. Pass to Wimanyama. The shot's good. Yeah, this is what everyone wants to see Wimbayama doing. Dominating on the inside. Murray passes to Hunter. Outside Johnson. A good look from Young. It's hauled in by Wimbayama. And the defense gets bailed out by the miss. He usually converts that. From 12 feet, the shot by Sohan, no good. Two seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. On the wing, Murray, back to Young. Good 
the three. He drops it from range. Young's got seven. And Young's not shying away from any shot, but especially. It's Can good. he get it off in time? It counts at the buzzer. That's a feel good. Oh, wow. Whoa. The heave to beat the buzzer. Woo. That's an incredible shot there. Just let it fly. Take a chance. And somehow that one goes in. And so the first quarter is in the books. The Hawks on top, leading by four. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter of action so far. All right, guys, what do you think about the Hawks here in this one? Well, so far, they've got things rolling along nicely at the offensive end. They couldn't ask for a better one right now. Just a complete rhythm by all the guys who got some minutes. Wonderful start. The Hawks leading. On the court for San Antonio here in the second. Wimbanyama out there with Doug McDermott. Then it's Trey Jones. Then there's Zach Collins. And it's Wesley in at the shooting guard position. There's Young with the three. And McDermott pulls it down. And so it's San Antonio with it. They'll face the Jazz after this game. That'll be at home. It'll be a quick stop over at home before they have to get back out on the road. That kind of looks like a predictable shot. One that they want. The defense has to prevent the ball from getting into that sweet spot. Now here's Young. He had a 30-point outing in their last game against Memphis. Felt like he had a sense in that game that the defense was being over-aggressive, and he tried to take advantage of that. He continually frustrated them throughout the night and got to the free throw line. Here's Jones. He had nine points in his last time out. From the right block. And there's a three-second violation. And now a look at the upcoming schedule for the San Antonio Spurs. On Tuesday, they'll head home to take on the Utah Jazz. And then on Thursday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Portland going up against the Blazers. And that game against the Trail Blazers, that's one that could easily go either way. A few mistakes could be the difference. I expect it to be a fun one. Clint Capella, he's checked in for the Hawks. Hunter comes in for Griffin. Branham's checked in for San Antonio. Sohan comes in for Jones. Well, Brent, if you could pick one current player to coach your team, who would it be? B.A., it's a really, really difficult question, but given the success of this player, what he's done on the floor, and what he continues to show himself to be off the floor, i got to pick Steph Curry. And the inspiration that he has just provided, not only the Bay Area, the Golden State Warriors, but revolutionizing the game and the way it's played, he has given everybody the thought of the possibility of that kind of perfection as a shooter. And that's something that I've always taken a lot of pride in as a player. Steph's my guy. Here's Branham, defended by Bogdanovich. Can they get it? Oh, sweet move. And the basket by Branham. Branham's got his first basket of the night. And their shots are dropping with more consistency now. Pass to Hunter. A minute and a half left in the second. That one drops for him. Hunter's got four points now in the quarter. Every basket from this kind of range is going to help Hunter's perimeter game. Doesn't worry about the defense. Well, Brent, every time we get to see DeAndre Hunter, I'm always impressed by his athleticism. Isn't it curious, B.A., how quietly DeAndre goes about his business out there? Just a slasher, doesn't demand anything offensively, and then coaches rely on that otherworldly defense. What a great asset to have. Atlanta calls timeout.
So for the Hawks, Johnson, he's checked in for Bay. And it's DeJounte Murray in for Young. Johnson, he's checked in for San Antonio. The cell comes in for McDermott. We've got 113 left to play in the first half. Bogdanovich on the wing. Pass to Capella. The kick out to Johnson. Let's the three fly. Knocks down the triple. Johnson's got himself on the board with a three there. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Outside Johnson. Here's Collins. Here's Sohan. Defended by Murray. Back to Collins. From deep, Johnson. Rebound Atlanta. Yeah, and it's amazing. Their slim advantage on the board seems a lot larger than it is. Murray finds Johnson. Capella with it. Collins defending. And so he draws the foul. Headed to the line to shoot a pair. Well, Capella's not backing down from that. He shoots right into the coverage to create that foul. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Capella. And Capella just an outstanding rebounder on both ends of the floor. Shoots a tremendously high percentage from the field because he's always around the rim. And the Spurs making a change here. Women Yamas checked in. That one's no good. And Wimbanyama has the ball here for the San Antonio Spurs. 11-point game. Johnson passes to Vassell. Wimbanyama scanning the floor. Just five on the clock. Shoots over Johnson. That one off the back iron and out. And so it's Atlanta. They lead by 11 as the quarter comes to a close. And it's mostly due to their superb shooting. They've wasted very few possessions. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? Thanks, guys. Clint, an outstanding first half for this team at the defensive end of the floor. What was the key? Just be consistent. Uh, defensive rebounding was one of our keys tonight. And uh, it's just the start, so we're going to try to stay locked in on it. We know this is our key in our transition to, to make a stop here and run. So we're just going to keep going. Back to you guys. Thank you, Allie. Good stuff. We will be right back after this break for the beginning of the third quarter.
Greetings, Shaq, Kenny, and EJ here as we tip off the show with a look at our midseason Eastern Conference standings. And guys, I was just thinking, as I often do, in your travels around the league, the only team you both played for was the Orlando Magic. Can he play for them? Six games, and it was the worst six games of my life. How many of those games did you start? Uh, I started two, and I should have started all of them. That's another story. And you know what else? The Magic also say it was the worst six games for them. And pivoting back to our first half here, goes without saying, a lot to like for the Atlanta Hawks. Their offense reminds us of our halftime show. Efficient, entertaining, and attractive. Yeah. Uh, I sort of see what you're saying there, big fella. That does sound like us. That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Boy, what a great performance by Trey Young. I like how they control the tempo and play to his strengths. Yeah, this is showing that they're not going to play at anybody else's pace but their own. Here's Young. They lead by 11, largest margin of the game. Murray and Hunter fill out the wings. Johnson is out there with Clint Capella. And it's Young in at the one. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Now here's Murray. Johnson for three. The rebound by the Spurs. Wimbun Yama's got his fourth rebound in this one. Sohan, the pass to Johnson. Shoots over Johnson. Capella with a rebound. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. Here's Young. On the mark with the 15-footer. Young's got nine. Well, if you overplay Trey Young, he will go right by you. He's going to make that adjustment. Outside Johnson. Plenty of room to knock down that one. That's just tremendous scoring instinct. So fun to watch him work in the half court. Left side Murray. Outside Johnson. And here's Hunter from the arc. Gets the three to fall. Hunter's got his third basket of the night. Well, the footwork for Hunter there was really solid. Able to catch and shoot. Pass to Johnson. Oh, and Johnson with a block. Hunter with the ball. He's picked up by Vassell. Screen by Capella. 13 feet out. It's stolen by Wimbenyama. Oh, and a fast break for the Spurs. Yeah, and it's Wimbiyama's length that leads to the steal and gets them out and running. Atlanta's gone four of six from three-point range thus far. Outside Young. From deep. Yes, and it's Murray picking up the assist. 12 points for him. And the defense is really allowing them too much room on the perimeter. Sohan, the pass to Vassell. Outside Johnson. Here's Wimbanyama. Second chance effort. And they're going to count that bucket. And they'll send him to the line. It could be a three-point play. And the Hawks make it a change here. Base checked in. Free throw good, Wimbanyama. And with the eight foot wingspan of Wimbanyama, it feels like he releases the ball halfway to the bucket. Capella finds Murray. Young looking around. Six on the shot clock. With the teardrop, it's tipped. And he's able to get it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Atlanta making some changes here. Akangu comes in for Capella. And it's Bogdan Bogdanovich in for Young. 
Collins. He's checked in for San Antonio. Osman comes in for Johnson. A chance here to catch up with Ali from the sideline. Well, asked to compare his game, Victor Wembanyama said, I would hate that my game resembles any one player because that wouldn't be ambitious enough. My whole life, I've always tried to be one of one. I don't know where it comes from. I think I was born with it. I've always tried to be original. My goal is to be like something you have never seen. B.A.? Wow. Mission accomplished there, Allie. Thank you. Okay, a chance to look at some numbers for Victor Wimbanyama. And he's gone cold over the last 10 games, guys. His scoring numbers are down, and he can't seem to get out of this rough patch. He's got to get himself going tonight, or they'll start losing patience with him. And 101 left in the third. Pass to Vassell. Yep, count it. And force feeding the ball inside. I mean, no reason to go away from what's working. And so it's Murray who brings up the ball for Atlanta. Next game against the Bulls at United Center. And that'll be their only game on the road before heading back home. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Murray continuing to put pressure on the defense as he's finding a way to get to the free throw line. The free throw drops from Murray. What growth from DeJounte Murray since coming into the league. Started as a role player. Turned himself into an all-star. Griffin. He's checked in for Hunter. So San Antonio going with almost an entire new group here. Victor Wimbanyama's checked in for Osman. McDermott comes in for Vassell. Wesley. He's checked in for Branham. And it's Jones in for Sohan. And Murray drops them both. Now you can tell he's feeling confident right now at the line. And when he's on... He can be lights out. Pass to Collins. Ooh, stolen by Murray. And a fast break now for the Hawks. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Oh, it's blocked by Wimbanyama. With his length and energy, Wimbanyama has the ability to be a game-changing defender. To the inside. And stolen by Bay. Here's Griffin. And Griffin slams it in. Can you say immediate entry into the highlight reel? Woo, what a tough PA. <laughs> it's showtime now, man. They've built up a lead, and they're starting to rub it in. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks up 14 as we wrap up the quarter. They hold a real solid lead right now. Love their approach tonight. We'll be back in a moment. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm Assist of the Game. 
And I'll tell you what, this was a no-brainer tonight. Take a look at the precision on this feed. Couldn't place it any better. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. All right, on the floor for San Antonio starting the fourth quarter. They've got Trey Jones. Victor Wimbanyama is out there with Jetty Osman. Then there's Zach Collins, and it's Wesley in at the two. And Wimbanyama can dunk it basically just standing up. you got to keep him out of the paint. Okongwu, the pass to Young, over Jones. And there's Young. That's good. On the assist from Okongwu. That was not an easy move. I mean, especially against that length. Yeah, I don't think he even sees a taller defender out there. Just a gifted scorer. They're having a good half offensively. Shooting over 50% from the field now. Trying to close the gap. Okongwu finds Young. And it's Atlanta scoring again. That's three buckets in a row off assist. Well, the Spurs shooting has been good. Around 52% from the field. Jones, the pass to Wimbanyama. Gets the three ball to go. Wimbanyama's got five points now in the quarter. Oh, I like their execution in the second half. They're keeping this game competitive. Atlanta's got five of seven threes to drop here tonight. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. And a new group getting ready for the Hawks. Capella, he's checked in for Okongwu. Johnson comes in for Bay. Hunters checked in for Griffin. And Murray subbed in for Bogdanovich. So San Antonio going with almost an entire new group here. Johnson, he's checked in for Collins. Vassell comes in for Osman. Branham's checked in for Wesley. And Sohan subbed in for Jones. A moment to hear from Ali LaForce. Well, Quinn Snyder had some words for his team over the break. And despite the lead, they are still coaching this team hard. In the huddle, they told their guys to stay alert. Do not give them anything easy. They want to protect this late lead, B.A. Appreciate the report, Allie. Hunter passes to Young. About a minute and a half into the fourth now. Screen by Capella. From downtown. Rebounded by Johnson. And lockdown defense against one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Wimanyama, no good. And so Murray will bring it up for Atlanta. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Pass to Johnson. To the paint. Here's Capella. That's in. Coming off an assist from Young. Young's got three assists tonight. And Capella just smashing through the contact on the inside that time. Going for the lob. Stolen by Capella. Hunter finds Murray. Outside Young. And they call an illegal screen here. You're not going to fool the officials too often on an illegal screen. Yeah, everybody saw that one. That was pretty blatant there. For San Antonio, they've gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. To the middle. Here's Wimanyama. Hey, rejected by Capella. And Capella, one of the best shot blockers in the NBA. He 
You can see his timing on that play. Here's Hunter. Rebound San Antonio. Wimbun Yama's got his sixth rebound on the night. Here's Branham. Second chance shot. Hey, rejected by Capella. They've got time on their side here, Grant. And if they're smart, they'll milk the clock a little. Well, with a comeback out of range, we can put a bow on this one. Good performance for the Hawks. Offensively, they made the most of their trips. They found multiple ways to score consistently. And a little luck doesn't hurt them either. They also got some nice bounces off the rim tonight, too. This will mark their 13th win of the year. Not a bad number. And with just one game left to play between them, they've captured the first two meetings of the year. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Trey Young. Now this was a showcase night of his skills offensively. You know, he's so smooth on his catch-and-shoot jump shots, and Vassell has a natural rhythm on them, too. Outside Murray. And so it's Atlanta easily grabbing this one. This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor, and they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. And now let's check in with Allie LaForce with the player of the game. Allie. Well, Trey, leadership is such a key part of the point guard position. What's your focus in living up to that? I'm a big guy and good in team chemistry, so any, any chance I can, go bowling, hang out with these guys, build chemistry, and um, I think that's where it starts is off the court, because that translates on. Bowling, that's something I haven't done in a while. Thanks for the inspiration. All right, Allie, thank you. And that about wraps it up. For Brent Berry, Allie LaForce, and Grant Hill, this is Brian Anderson thanking you for tuning in. Last but not least, here is your New Balance player of the game, Trey Young.